I feel like a mix of very fall and also kind of a mime because I'm wearing the, the dark lip and I'm pale and I have the stripes on. I feel like I should be like miming this video for you. Yeah, no. No thank you. Hello everyone! I'm here today to do a new type of video where I'm going to be testing out a whole bunch of very Instagram hyped products. Now these are products that I've seen all around Instagram that are in tutorials and photos and just in general just seem very intriguing. Um, whether they're brands or specific products or maybe they're brushes, things like that. And I want to test them out for you guys and just see how well they worked because they look really good in the in the video and I, I, I want to look like that. So I decided to sit down, do my makeup and test out all these products with you guys. So if you want to see round two of this video, leave me a comment below. Let me know what products or brands or anything like that that you want me to talk about because obviously I missed out on a ton of products that are out there and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday and Thursday and obviously for for round two of this video and I think that's about everything so without further ado let's get into this tutorial so first I'm gonna apply a primer and this brand I have seen all over Instagram it's the Sunday Riley brand so this is the effortless breathable tinted primer and I have used this before and I really really like it and uh, yeah, we're gonna smooth this all over the face to start. Next up is foundation, and while I couldn't find an Instagram hyped foundation, I could find application techniques that are very, very popular. So I'm gonna be using a new foundation. This is the um, Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Long Wear Liquid Foundation. I've used it before, I know how it sits on the face. So I'm gonna be splitting up the face down the middle, and on one half of the face, I'm gonna be applying a facial oil plus the foundation with my beauty blender. And on the other side of the face, I'm gonna be using the Artiste brushes. So for the facial oil side of the face, there is a facial oil that is really, really popular on Instagram, and I've been trying to get my hands on it for like eight months, okay, maybe not eight months, but like six months. And it's the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir, but it has been sold out forever. So I checked the ingredients online and there's just a lot of really good oils in it that are really, really good for the skin. And I can see why everyone really loves it. And it also has 24 karat gold like flex in it as well. So I checked the ingredients versus my um, Olay Regenerous Luminous Facial Oil. So I thought I would test this out just as a comparison, something that might be a little bit easier to get your hands on, and we'll see how this goes instead. Um, and you could, if you if you had this on hand, you could combine it with the Guerlain Gold Primer that I am absolutely in love with and has the gold flecks in it. So just a, a double whammy right there. So I say to dot the foundation first on the face and then dropper some of the facial oil into your beauty blender and then apply it to get this nice dewy luminous complexion. So that's one half done and one half no makeup on my face at all. And you can see the dewiness in the foundation considering this is like a, a matte long wear hardcore foundation that's pretty impressive. So I can definitely feel the oil on my skin so if you have oily skin I don't know if using this would be a good idea. Maybe only using like maybe one drop or one and a half drops would be better but if you have dry skin you are going to love this. Next on the other side of the face we are using the Artiz brushes, and this is the um, Oval 8 brush, which is supposed to be good for the foundation on the skin. It's supposed to be a little bit more ergonomic, give you really, really flawless results. I've seen tons and tons of people using this, especially on Instagram. Instagrammers love these brushes. So I'm gonna see what all the hype is about. I'm pretty excited. Okay, so you wanna glide back and forth until you get the coverage and blend you desire. All right, I can do that. So we're gonna dot this on the face again. We're gonna hold it like this. And we're going to glide back and forth. Ooh. Oh, it's so luxurious. It's like I'm putting in my foundation with a kitten. All right, what side looks better on the camera? Honestly, like they look so similar to me up close, like really like looking nitty gritty into like my pores. So we'll see how they wear throughout the day and see if one side just wears better than the other side. But um, they both look good. Now on to concealer and we're gonna be doing the same thing with the Beauty Blender. We're going to be applying some facial oil to it and then dabbing it onto the eyes just to hydrate the area a little bit more and see if it doesn't crease as easily, if it holds up better through the day, if it creates this nice luminosity under the eyes because right now, wally moly, lots of dark circles. We need to get rid of that stat. No, you know what? I don't like that. I, it just seems to be taking off all the product under my eyes. Maybe what I'll do next time is apply the facial oil with the beauty blender just by itself to hydrate the area and then put concealer on top, but combining them, I do not like that at all. So we're we're gonna nix the beauty blender and go straight in with, let's see, let's use one of the Artiste brushes. We'll try that. So I'm gonna use the Oval 3 little brush and I'm gonna try and apply the concealer with this. All right, that seemed to do a little bit better of a job. I'm gonna do one more small coat and then we are gonna go on to the cream contour. I don't particularly love to do a lot of contour, but 
um, Instagram does, so we're gonna go with that. And I'm gonna be using the Sculpting Sticks from ColourPop. ColourPop is obviously a very popular brand on YouTube and also on Instagram, so we're gonna be going with that. And I'm gonna be using Dove to contour underneath, and for the highlighting, I'm going to be using Gummy Bear on top. I feel like I should be applying this with some sort of like fancy hearts and stuff, but you know what, we're gonna go with the straight lines today. And I'm gonna be using a beauty blender and we're just going to blend everything out so it's nice and even. Now to set everything, I'm going to be doing a little baking underneath the eyes with my beauty blender and I'm just gonna use a translucent, really finely milled powder. I'm gonna be using this one by Tarte. I'm going to set the rest of my face. I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D Locket Powder. All right, now while this is baking, we're gonna go in with the brows and I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade because this is a classic, classic product. I already know that I love this product. It is super well hyped and well deserved hype. And the eyeshadow we're gonna use today is Makeup Geek eyeshadow. I have a whole bunch here that I've been testing out and I'm in love with them. We're gonna do a fairly neutral based eye today just because I really want to vamp it up with the lips and I don't wanna go too, too crazy today. So I'm going to start with the shade in Vanilla Bean and I'm gonna be using that all over the lids primarily focusing on sort of the crease area um, as a blending out color. And then I'm gonna be going in with Beaches and Cream over here and intensifying the crease area a little bit before finally going in with the shade Creme Brulee and also a mix of Barcelona Beach. And I'm gonna be doing that to really um, make that crease area pop. And I'm also using the same shades underneath the lower lash line as well. Once we dust off all of this bakage we have going on. We are going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and this is in the shade Marshmallow. Oh, this is the uh, Sweets palette. And we're gonna do that for the inner corner highlight. I also dampened the brush too, so it's gonna be real bold. And then for the lid color, I'm gonna do another really, really bold look with the mixture of butterscotch and marshmallow. For liner, we're gonna be testing out the Kylie Kai liner, and this is in black. Yeah, black. Get the gel liner and a brush, as well as the regular pencil. So we're gonna use both today. We're gonna do pencil on the tight line, and then we're gonna use the gel on the lash line. And then of course, my camera cuts out. So what I did um, is I put a little bit of the black liner on the lower lash line and smudged it out a little bit with some more of the brown shadow just to kind of make my eyes a little bit more poppin', you know? The Kai liner was pretty good, um, very dark. I'm, I'm waiting to see if it transfers from the upper tight line down to the bottom. So we'll see if there's any transfer by the end of the day. But it is pretty smooth and it's very creamy. Um, but you know what, I find that my Maybelline one is just as good. For mascara, I'm gonna be testing out one from BH Cosmetics. This brand has gained a lot of popularity over the last couple of years and they have some great quality products, so I'm excited to test this out. This is the BH Bliss Lash Ultimate All-in-One Mascara. So that is one coat of the mascara, one coat being like probably what, like 15 like strokes of mascara on my lashes. Um, so I mean, it's really nice, it's very, very easy to use. Like, the mascara goes on beautifully, it's not clumpy in any way, it just goes on really, really smoothly. So I am so far very impressed, but most mascaras, my eyelashes tend to like go by the end of the day, so stay tuned for that. All right, now on to the cheeks. I've got all kinds of out of order today. We're gonna do some blush now. I'm gonna be using a ColourPop blush, and this is in the shade Thumper, which is a nice bright pink shade. Oh, and bronzer, wow. Okay, Rachel, let's, let's get it together. We're gonna do bronzer, then we're gonna do highlight, and then we're gonna do the lips. Let's do this. For bronzer, I'm gonna be using another one. This is from BH Cosmetics. Their Satin Bronzer, a natural finished bronzer, and I'm gonna use the Artiste brush again, and we're gonna try this out, see how this goes. Now we're gonna go in with some highlight. So we're gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. This is the Moon Child Glow Kit, and I'm going to be using the shade Pink Heart. And last but not least, we're gonna go in with the lips, and the first step that we're gonna do is we're gonna use one of those lip masks, like those plumping masks. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. The mask we are gonna be testing out today is by Miss Soho, and this is their uh, Collagen Cleanse Three Day Plump. So it comes with like three packs, but you're supposed to do, see noticeable results after using it once. So um, yeah, that's, that's what we're gonna do. My lips are dry and clean. I'm going to put this on for 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna come back, and then we're gonna finish up with a really bold lip. Do my lips look fuller? They feel more hydrated. I mean, that's that's a good thing, right? And for the last step, we're gonna be using a liquid lipstick, and this is by Ofra, and this is in the shade Queens, and they have really, really good liquid lipsticks, apparently. Um, a lot of people have loved these, so I've never tried this color before, and I'm really excited about it because it looks gorgeous. Well, dang, look at that. Mmm, mmm, that's a pretty color. It's not sticky on the lips in any way. It smooths out really nicely. 
So we'll see how long lasting this is, but it's really nice. So I almost entirely forgot to sit down and do an update for you guys. I was about to wash off my makeup, so I thought I would sit down. So first of all, it's like midnight and my face is a disaster. So I want to give you guys an accurate update as of like, you know, like a reasonable time, like nine o'clock at night. It's midnight, like my, my makeup has lived today. I will say that I love the facial oil combined with the concealer or maybe before the concealer under the eyes. It really hydrated the area and it made the whole area look a lot softer. In terms of which side looked better by the end of the day, um, the side with the facial oil and the side with the Artiste brushes, I'd say they would. <laughs> they ended up being about the same, both really, really nice. I liked the way that um, my foundation held up throughout the day and how it looked, but I did like how the Artiste brushes sort of felt on the skin. I liked how they blended everything out. I liked how they applied my eye makeup actually really, really nicely. So that was overall a really nice find. The mascara did a pretty good job. There didn't seem to be any like noticeable flaking because my Kylie Kylie liner did not hold up super well, especially the like tight line area that just like fell all over my eyes. And then the lipstick, I will put a picture here of what it looked like maybe three and a half, four hours in. So not bad, it was okay. It's just, it started to kind of fade on the inside after, you know, eating and drinking, whatever. I will say though, that there was no lipstick marks on my mugs when I was drinking coffee and tea and water, whatever throughout the day, none. So I was pretty impressed by that. But again, over time, it did start to wear a little bit on the inside, so you'd have to retouch it. But the color is beautiful. It applies beautifully. And if you're willing to do touch-ups every four or five hours or so, I would say definitely get them there. Awesome. So I'd say overall the Instagram hyped makeup, pretty successful. It was super fun to play with all these like Insta hyped products and I'm obsessed with this lip. I can't stop staring at it in the little display thing. Oh, it's so pretty. If you guys wanna see another version of this video with some more Instagram brands and products tested out, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below and let me know what products you guys wanna see in the next version of this video. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. I hope you're all having an amazing, amazing week so far and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.